Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna be installing the roof wrap and we're also gonna do the doors. We got the car buffed and ready to apply the vinyl. And we got the color closest to this black. It's kind of metallic, so we're gonna see how it comes out. And we already removed one of these trims. And we're gonna go over here to this side and do the driver's side. So you basically just have to get the tool back here and pry it up a little bit. Just make sure to not put any pressure on the windshield because you will crack the windshield. This is what I'm using right now, but you guys should use something that's plastic if you guys are removing trim so you won't damage your paint. But all I did was got it on this backside and gave it a little push and started unclipping. So we got it all the way across and just started pulling. So now we're gonna start working on the inside of the vehicle. These little rubber grommets that they used to uh, cover those holes, they pop off easily. So what I'm gonna do now is work on the headliner. We're gonna remove it, at least the back half, just so we can get this antenna off. Once the antenna is off, we're able to lay down the vinyl. And this is the first time for us, so let's see how it comes out. We ended up doing the passenger side, removing this back trim. Has this little cover and a Torx style screw. We got, we pulled that one out though, out of the way, and we kind of just popped this one off. And it was missing a screw right here. But we just pulled it off of the clips, and then we were able to wiggle the headliner out of this and for that back piece it has some clips these two and now we have access to the antenna all right so we're gonna we just finished wiping the roof and we're gonna pop these rubbers off you could either do it from the top or from the bottom we're gonna try to get this as clean as possible another one here another one here and another one here And we're gonna wipe it down one more time. We're gonna start spraying rubbing alcohol and then wipe everything down, especially on these spots right here because they have dirt. We were able to remove all the wrinkles in the middle. It took us some time because we had to keep going to each corner and pulling the film. So now that we have it laid like this, we're gonna start squeezing out the, the bubble. We got the vinyl all laid down. We just messed up right here. It's a little spot and we're just gonna patch it. We're not going to redo the whole foot. I mean, the whole roof. Too much work. And we tucked it right here. Just going to get all the air out. And now we're going to put the trim back on. On both sides. We also cut out the holes for the little uh, grommets. And we'll put the antenna back. Once the trim goes back on, this headliner is going to go back in place. cap right here we removed it and there's a 516 bolt that is holding on to the door handle once you loosen the 516 bolt that holds this to the door you're able to pull this out of the way just wiggle it out and then this should come off enough to give you access to remove it from this um, to remove it from this rod and I was just pulling it and I was able to wiggle it out. So now we're gonna wipe down the door with some alcohol and start laying the film. We took off the side mirror just so we could get under the trim on the outside. And it has three Torx screws. One here, one here, and one here. 
we popped off this cover to get to these two and it just has a plug so we unplug that and we pulled out the mirror now we're gonna start uh, cleaning up the the door with some alcohol and this is why we removed the side mirror so we could get the vinyl up in here and we're, we just have to worry about this corner so we're gonna start uh cleaning it with the squeegee then we're gonna start trimming once the vinyl is on the door We cut all the excess material off and now we're going to start working on that door handle um, putting it back on and then putting the trims back on and tucking the sides This is the finished product and the wrap isn't exactly the color we wanted it to be. We asked for metallic black because the car is metallic black. But they gave us this color and this looks more like a blue or something. There's a difference, but at least I mean it looks better than having a white roof with white doors. and I think it makes the car look a little better. So that's it for this video, you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC Films. We'll catch you in the next one.